marriage is not equal. God never said in the Bible that marriage was a thing of equality. Now, I'm not talking about equal in the sense of the woman is inferior to the man or she's less than the man. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Because when the Bible uh, says that the woman is the weaker vessel, it says weaker. That means that the man at some point was weak too, as we saw in the um, in the garden, how Adam, hello, he, he committed the sin too, <laughs> you know? So Eve, because she was deceived uh, first, she was the weaker vessel. But back to the the point I was trying to make, it's not it's not equal in a marriage. Mar- marriage isn't equal uh, in the Bible, um, especially Genesis two. The Bible speaks of how the man is supposed to be the one who does the providing and the protecting. And the woman is supposed to be the childbearer and the nurturer of the home. And I believe if we would have done things and if we would do things the way the Bible says to do it, many marriages would be in a better place. Um, I'm for one, um, I went through a divorce and I'm going to talk about it in, uh, in a future podcast or a future video. And, um, I went through a divorce after 25 years and I've learned a lot of things because of that divorce. Sometime when you go through a divorce or you're not together, people say, oh, you don't got a voice because you couldn't hold your marriage together or you couldn't, no, 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 nah, come on fam, no. A lot of times it's when you out of a situation, you know better how to speak about it because you know how to be in that situation and you know how to be out of that situation and hopefully you have learned something from that situation. So um, yeah, marriage, marriage isn't biblically equal. When you even look at marriage, why would why would you want it to be as a woman? I'm I'm talking from a perspective of a woman now. To have someone to provide for you, to protect you, and all those good things that God said for a man, a husband to do. Why would I want to step in his shoes and do those things? Why would I want to, you know, do far and beyond and extend myself more than what I have to? Why would I want to go to work? Come home, cook, clean, nurture the children, have sex, get up, repeat. (laughs) When I was basically supposed to nurture my home. It, It doesn't take away from being an independent woman because we see in Proverbs 31 that, you know, the Proverbs 31 woman, she was an independent woman, but she still was a nurturer of her home. She wasn't out there trying to be equal to her husband. And at the end of the day, when we see how God shaped and formed marriage a certain way, it's a beautiful thing. When we even read scriptures, um, there's a passage of scripture where God is like, listen, yo, the man got to be the one. Listen, love your wife as you love yourself and love your wife as Christ loved the church. You have to die (laughs) for your wife like Christ did for the church. Meaning if someone trying to harm you or your household, the man, the husband is the one to jump in front of the, in front of the fire. He's the one to jump in front of the bullet. He's the one to jump in front of the, the, the danger. So why as a wife, as a woman, would we want to be equal to that? Why would we want to take, God never told us that we had to give up our lives for, for, for the man. He never said we, we had to be the protector and the provider. And we took that upon ourselves to do that. So I'm grateful (laughs) now that I think about it. I'm grateful to be the woman. I'm grateful to, to, to now be able to say, God, I understand. I understand why you did what you did and why you said what you said. And once again, it doesn't, it doesn't take away from us being smart, us being educated. It doesn't take away from us being talented and anointed in ministry and so forth. But for some reason, we think marriage is equality. No, it really isn't, beloved. And some people may think that, you know, oh, the men, you know, they have the better end of the stick because they the head. And no, when I hear that somebody's supposed to jump in the line of danger for me, 
to me, I think that's the heavier role. But at the end of the day, marriage takes work. Marriage takes time to learn. And it's best to do it biblically. It'll be less hardship on you and your spouse and your household in general. And so had I known this, I think my marriage might have survived after the 25 years. But again, you can't predict, you know, what someone else wants to do with their life or the direction they want to go. Because there's people that follow the Bible way of doing it and they still end up in divorce. But I just believe for me, had I known, you know, the biblical way of doing things and not thinking that, you know, if I succumb, I would be, I would be inferior and all this other stuff. I think things would have been better. But anyway, once again, nope, no equality in marriage.